We have been out assessing um, via water samples the algae bloom that's out there. Um, this algae bloom is Carinia brevis and so we've been watching it because it does produce a toxin that can harm fish and wildlife. We, our updates are indicating what they consider medium um, to high concentrations of algal blooms in some areas and in other areas just pretty much non-detectable. If you have a chronic respiratory illness um, or are prone to asthma, when there are high concentrations in the water and there's a wind that's blowing that wind on shore, it can cause some irritation, especially if you already are susceptible to respiratory illness. Um, for other people, when there are high concentrations, you will feel eye irritation, um, possibly a runny nose when you're along the beach's edge where the wind's blowing on shore, but that's only if there are high concentrations out in the water. Um, when there are low concentrations, you typically won't really even register anything. Um, we've been getting a lot of questions regarding fishing and seafood. Um, it is safe to go fishing um, and you can consume fish, the fillets of fish. However, we ask that you don't consume dead or distressed fish. Um, so typically just stay away from dead fish or distressed fish, but you are welcome to go fishing and the fish is safe to eat. We do have forecasts that are being provided by the University of Southern Mississippi's Marine Science um, Division out at Stennis Space Center, and it's indicating that the conditions are going to exist at least through this week. We get an update about every three to four days on the forecast conditions, and they are just kind of um, hovering in the sound as well as south of the barrier islands, and so we're watching those because we just don't have a lot of wind movement or, or current conditions that can actually uh, push those algal blooms back out into the Gulf.